All right, guys, let's work our way through this stack of children's books. Uh, um, this is Estate Trees. Nineteen seventy three. Nice library binding. This is a, a set of two paperbacks A Visit to Russia and Ukraine and A Visit to France. These were put out by Chick fil A. I have no idea when, um, but I thought that was pretty funny. And I like that they, um, you know, are introducing children to other countries. Okay, so I'm selling those as a set of two. This is called Storyland. It's a sweet, tiny little book. The Three Dogs. This is from 1946. The Clever Tailor. Isn't this sweet? I've never seen this one before, so I was excited about that. All right, let's see what these are. All About the Jungle. This is an All About book, number 29. I like finding these All About books. This is the first time I've had the jungle one. Love that green color, really nice illustrations. And then this is Tad Lincoln, Abe's son, a discovery book. This looks like it is a former, I would guess, school library book. This is from 1971. And then this is Holidays Around the World. This is a former library book. I love those little pops of color on those illustrations. Just enough to keep you going. And let's pull down a few more. This is a very rare and valuable Mother Goose or the Nursery Rhymes, uh, illustrated by Kate Greenaway. And here's the inside. You never know what you're gonna find that you look up and realize it's a pretty rare and valuable book. So this is, this is one that I was surprised by when I actually um, researched it. The illustrations are gorgeous, nice little book. Uh, fairy Tales, Hans Christian Andersen. This is an Everyman's Library edition, relatively modern, um, but beautiful. So um, let's see what the date is on this. It is 1992, okay? State Birds and Flowers. This is a former library book. You could get this and the trees book and have quite a little reference set. State birds, state um, trees, and state flowers. Okay, shh, we're writing the Constitution by Jean Fritz. Uh, little paperback. I've not seen this one before, so I was excited to pick that up. The World Treasury of Children's Literature. Look at this beautiful book. Such a pretty blue color with that nice writing on the spine and a whole bunch of stories to read to your children. Let's take a look at the table of contents of this one if we can. Oh, this is book three, so there must be some other ones. That's interesting, I'll have to look that up. Here's the travel, uh, table of contents, okay? Uh, a Season of Joy. This is a favorite stories and poems for Christmas. Of course, you got a Christmas carol there. That's the Ghost of Christmas Present. Ghost of Christmas Past. The Night Before Christmas. The Jar of Rosemary. The Little Blind Shepherd, The Little Blue Dishes, The Dwarf and the Cobbler's Son. Okay. All right, let's see. This book is so cool. Ant Ventures. It's got some damage at the top there. 
I think this book, it, it might be missing a color plate or two. I'm not sure because um, I've never seen it before. But I saw another reference to it that described it as having more than one. And as far as I can tell, that's the only one I've seen in the book. Um, so the book is um, a little bit loose. Um, so you got to be careful with it. See that? But what a cool book. So that is Ant Ventures. And this is another really cool book, The Blue Domer's Nest. Every wide awake child who enjoys arousing original stories of the great outdoors should read these winning tales of well-known animal folks and their lively, exciting experiences in the woods and fields. I've never seen this book before and I was super delighted by it. Little bookmark or something. Okay, so there's that. Next, we have the Burgess Animal Book for Children. This one is chipped on the top and the bottom. I don't think I've ever had the animal book before. It's 1947. This page is loose. I wanted to show you that. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Um, you can see a little bit inside there at the webbing, but it's kind of hard to show you. Um, so this looks like it was probably some kind of library book. But I don't see any stamps or anything in it. So it's a little hard to tell, just that stamp, August 1948. Okay, next, The Boy's Book of Verse. This is another library book in a library binding. Tuscaloosa Library Bindery from the Decatur High School Library. This is from 1951. Shakespeare. More Shakespeare. Henry Beeching. Outdoor poems. Let's see what the categories are. Story poems, outdoor poems, poems of peace and war, and songs of life. Next, Bridie of the Grand Canyon. I always pick up these Bridie um, uh, Marguerite Henry books. And this one is really pretty, in really good condition. There's Bridie. My Little Pictionary. This one is a little wiggly and has some writing in it. Uh, some circling, scribbling. It is super cute. Isn't that cute? And it is from 1964. There's a little bit of rips here and there, as you can see. And there's the back with a little smiley face. Next, tell me why. I've found these a couple of times and they're super fun. It's a giant book of questions and answers for kids. There's, there's at least four, I think, in this series that were made over the course of a few years. All kinds of interesting facts about nature and people. Next is Great Lives, compiled by Simon Boughton. So this is a biography book. So if you want to just have a reference book um, for your kids on the shelf, this has all kinds of people in it. Little biographies of each one and lots and lots of illustrations and pictures and things throughout. This is chronological order. You can look them up by year. That's an interesting way to do it. And it goes up to 1986, it looks like. Okay, a couple more. This is Pyramid by, um, oh, this looks like it's a former library book by David McCullough. This is a nice hardcover edition. I've had paperbacks before, but not the hardcover of Pyramid. I think I've had Castles, but not Pyramid. Okay. And then the last one is a beauty, Animal Babies. It's an excellent condition. And it is beautiful inside and out. 
This is from 1949. And looks like it was barely used at all. Isn't that lovely? Okay, guys, that's all the children's books that I have. I might have a few more like over there um, and a little bit over there. So you might see a few more things pop up into the Google Photos album when this sale goes live.